And then we've got to engage the customer. And engagement, again, as I talked about, we somehow have to get that customer to start doing what? To start buying it. And when does the customer start buying? When they start doing what? Touching it, when they start touching it, when we get them on it, we get them experiencing it at some level. And I tell people again, even a touch screen is the same process of them touching the machine. I tell you, you don't have to have a physical machine there. If you get them going through some sort of a touch screen, they're experiencing that in a very, spe in a very specific way. It's, it's like your, your, your test drive challenge. How many people in here did the test drive challenge last year? Let me see your hands. Okay, I have one. How many? Show your hands again. I just, I'm just curious. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I have five people. If you go to a car dealership, in most cases, before, the buy, before you buy the car, you will ask to do a what? Why? Are you thinking it might not start? Maybe the transmission slips on this new car. You want to test drive it because you want to start doing what? Get a feel for it. Because people are not logical. They are what? Emotional. People don't buy things based upon logic. They buy them based upon what? Emotions, like relationships. How many people in here have someone that you care for that cares for you? Let me see your hands real quick. I always like to check this out in my workshop. All right, how many people in here picked that person logically? How many of you did it emotionally? Now you've given it some thought. How many wish you have maybe done it logically? <laughs> uh, there you go. But I tell people again, it's the same thing with selling. One of the biggest mistakes that people make in their stores, they forget that people aren't logical. It's not data, facts, numbers. Most of the problem that most of your salespeople have when they're selling is they know too much about the equipment, not enough. I can't tell you how many salespeople talk them into and back out of a sale in the exact same presentation because they just don't shut up. The person already wants to do business with you or they wouldn't even be where. We know they want to buy a lawn tractor or a zero turn or they wouldn't be standing beside a lawn tractor or a zero turn. Would you agree? Everything is right. We're the only ones that could screw it up at this point. And we screw it up about 75% of the time because we think they want to know more logically about the machine. They just want to know what? I want to know how it's going to make me feel. I want to know how it's going to make my life easier. I want to know how the experience I'm going to have with it is going to be positive. That's all they want. Tell me. I tell people, you don't even know a lot about it. All you have to do is say, you know what? If you buy that mower, you will have never in, in your entire life regret the decision to buy that mower. Never. It will be the greatest investment you ever made. You know why? Number one, because it's a fine piece of equipment. But number two, when you bought the mower, you bought me. And you know what I'm going to make sure you have? A great what? Experience. I'm dedicated to making sure that when you buy that, everything that you hope would happen, everything that you dream would happen, will happen. That's our commitment to you. Yeah, we're a little higher. We are a little higher. But I'm committed to making sure that this is going to be the greatest purchase that you've ever made in your life. So with that in mind, are we going to use uh, cash or plastic as we cons consummate this deal here? But I tell you, that's what it's about. It's like me. How many people in here are hoping well, I was going to have a bad day? I tell people, you know, if I'm going to do a motivational talk, I should somewhat be mo what? Motivating. I mean, if I'm introduced and, I, and they say, I want to introduce you to Bob Clemency, the motivational speaker is going to set your soul on fire, I better come up and not do this. Well, hey, glad to be here, right? I better be what? You know, if I'm not passionate about what I'm talking about, then you're not going to go out and do it. You've got to be passionate about it. You've got to have your store passionate for people. We've got to engage people in the process. It blows my mind that not more of you are doing the test drive, and I know why you're not doing it, because you don't have the what? You don't have the what? The time. You don't have the time. Yet you're in sales, right? And we're here trying to sell all goods, so we have to find the what? We have to find the time. So I tell people again, if we let our store do more of our selling for us, so we didn't have to spend 30 minutes just talking to people about what they're looking for, let our displays do some of that work, I'm spending less time selling them on the knowledge part of it, I've got more time to spend with people over here doing what? Engaging in the process with it. I tell people again, it doesn't take more time to sell, we just have to sell in a different way. So we've got to encourage people as we go through that. Then the last.